Let's now learn how to create different objects with scripts. In your service script service, just go ahead and create a script, rename it to create objects. Now I'm gonna start with a task wait of three seconds. To create an object, I'm gonna declare a variable. So I'm gonna say local part equal to instance dot new. And this is how you create a new object. The object that I'm creating is a part. So I'm gonna say new part. And then I'm gonna to need to place my part inside the workspace. So I'm gonna say part dot parent equal to workspace. Run test and take a look. Remember we're giving it three seconds before it starts. So we're gonna run. Nothing has happened yet. And in three seconds, you can see my part has been created by the script. Here we're creating the object and we're moving it to the workspace for it to appear inside your game. Instead of using another step to move it into the workspace, I could have done it this way. So I create an object and I ask the system to place it directly into the workspace. This one statement is gonna be equivalent to the two prior statements, but we're doing it all in one step. Let's take a look. So give it three seconds and the object has been created inside the workspace. Once you have your object inside the workspace, you can do anything you like with it. Same as you have learned before in our prior tutorials, you can make any changes to the object as you wish. For example, I'm going to say part dot brick color equal to. Let me let the AI fill in the blanks for me. Let's see what it does. I'm going to accept. So it's changing the color of the part to bright red, the material to neon, and it's changing the size to 1111 and position is five studs above the base plate. It anchored the part and it turns off, can't collide. Let's run tests and take a look. So this code is from the AI and there is the, the part hanging in the air. It's kind of tiny, so we can't really see it. Let me make a change to that so you can see it better. I made a couple of changes. I changed the color so it's not so red. And I changed the material to cobblestone. I'm making it bigger. So the size now I'm giving it 10, 10, and 10 instead of 1, 1, and 1 from the AI. And I put it 10 studs above the base plate. Let's take a look. In three seconds. And there it is. That was the object that was created by the script. That's basically how you create a part using a script. Let's try and create a different object, see how it works. So here, I'm going to insert these three lines. I'm going to wait for five seconds before I create the new object. And the new object is going to be an attachment. And I'm going to put it inside the part. Again, I could have done it this way, part. And then I can get rid of the second line here. So we're putting both lines into one. Let's run test and take a look. So here we're gonna wait for three seconds for the part to be created. And if you look inside the part, there's nothing inside the part now, but in five seconds, now we have an attachment inside the part. The attachment is not gonna do anything right now, but in future tutorials, we're gonna learn how to use the attachment for to attach different constraints to this part. Or if you wanna get ahead of the course, you can go to our YouTube channel right now and look up the constraints playlist to learn all about constraints in Roblox. Now, previously we have learned how to use the player added event to monitor for when a player joins the game. We can modify this right now. So whenever a player joins the game, we're gonna create a folder inside the player. So here we're gonna say local folder equal to and let's see if the AI can figure it out. So the AI is giving us all this. I'm just gonna take it, but for now, I'm gonna delete all these. So basically we're creating a folder and we wanna put it inside the player, each player that joins the game. So here we gotta say player, all right? So we're creating a folder inside the player and I'm gonna rename that folder. So I'm gonna say folder dot name, I'm going to set it equal to my folder. Let's now play test and take a look. 
So, whoa, the block is, is spawning in right on top of me. But anyway, I'm going to go to the player service, expand the player. You can see my folder has been created inside every player that joins the game. In this case, I'm the only player in this game. But if there are other players in the game, each one of us would have the same my folder under the player. Next, how about we add in something to keep track of the player's scores. So I'm going to declare local score equal to instance dot new. And the score is going to be an integer value. We're going to put that inside the player that joins the game. I'm now going to rename that new object to score. So I'm going to say score dot name equal to score and how about we're giving each player one point for each second they are inside the game so we're gonna say while task weight of one do and the AI has suggested this I'm just gonna accept it so we're gonna change the value of our score to score plus one or you could have just done it this way plus equal to one All right so for every second the player is inside the game the player is gonna get one point one additional point how about we go to test and we're gonna play test with two players this time Right, so this here, I'm gonna expand the player service. I see player one and player two in here, right? So if I click on player one, actually expand player one, you see there is a score underneath every player. So player one has a score, player two has a score. And look at players look at players one score, the value is going up by one for every second the player is in the game. Same with player two. Check out the score, it's going up by one for every second the players inside the game. Now we can switch to the other players view. So this is players so this is players one view, right? We're gonna switch over to this side and it should be the same. So here we have player one and player two. And check out the score. It's still going up. Same with players two. The score is going up. Once you're all done, just click on clean up. That's how you add objects using scripts inside Roblox.